My name is Jenny Allen, and today we're going to talk about anxiety. And if you're anything like me and the people I love, it feels like it's impossible not to feel a little bit anxious. The world is spinning wildly, and there is so much out of our control right now. And so he says in Philippians, Paul writes, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. I mean, it feels like a command, like he's scolding us, like he's a parent and he's like, quit, quit being anxious. But, but I've learned not to read it that way. I believe how he means this is as a loving father that knows it's a little chaotic around us. It's, it's like a kid that is in the, the closet when a tornado is passing by and, and a dad says to him, hey, don't be afraid. I have you. I love you. I've got you. Except God actually has that kind of power. And so when we read it that way, we feel the safety to come to him and to the word supplication means to, to petition for all of the needs that we have, to ask him for everything and everything you want, everything you're desiring. And, and when you do that, it, it actually shifts your brain to share that with God. In fact, I'd encourage you to share, to petition with God today out loud in your car as you drive or as you walk, just say out loud, God, these are the things that are making me spin. And then it says, and then show gratitude because gratitude also shifts our mind. And what the science will tell you there is that you can interrupt toxic spirals with gratitude. It interrupts it. And so God built our brain. He knew that this was the greatest way for us to combat anxiety. You're not in trouble because you feel anxious. You are loved. And God wants to walk in it with you. Ultimately, he's saying, come to me, kid. I got you.